We see a lot of motorhomes here at We Buy a Motor Caravan. Do you like a this one? When the office said that the Leica Dolce Vita is coming in and Pete, you're filming it, I thought, fantastic, it sounds delicious. I'll have two with a flake and some strawberry, but apparently it's this motorhome here. But I do Leica this a lot. Come and have a look around the Leica Dolce Vita EcoVip 712. Brand shiny new, this is a 2017 plate. This would have been around the 70,000 pounds basic. You then put everything on that this has got. It's got the hydraulic self-leveling, big awning on the top and a huge garage. I love the styling of it. I think it's really quite elegant. It's very Italian-esque. It's got the sweet life of the Dolce Vita styling on it as well. Just look at this beautiful, just over seven meter long motorhome. When I first saw it, the first thing that jumped out at me was this unique styling at the front of the A-Class. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's like a, like a Leica. It's sort of, it's like a, like a shark, do, 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 like a shark, do, 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 like a shark. I think it's wonderful. Not only is the front really pretty, the back gives you a huge garage in there. This particular one has got the safe and the bed inside will go up and down with this button here to give you that little bit more room, that little bit more style. It's just beautiful. You've got the reverse camera on the back, big Dolce Vita styling, sweet life, Dolce Vita. And I'll tell you something, when you get inside this, you can see that it is a sweet life that you'll have in this motorhome. Come and have a look. Come and have a look inside this 712. It's four berth, four belt. You've got a huge lounge area and the styling is second to none for me. It's absolutely beautiful. They have replaced this particular one I think it's the 4102 that they've got, and they start now from 105,000 pounds. Three and a half ton, and they pack a lot into that three and a half ton in this. You've got cupboard space galore in it, absolute galore. You can put things in here, you could go have a drop down telly here. You've got everything that you really need, and a really big kitchen space too. It's the little things in this motorhome that I love. Look at that door, it even folds in. I think that's beautiful. Anyway, I'll leave the door alone. When you get into the kitchen, you've got some good usable workspace at the top here, but these can come out quite comfortably. You're then left with a wine cooler. No, it's a sink, it's a sink, but you can put water and ice in there and that's a great wine cooler because you have another sink there. So you do your washing up there, you cool your wine there and the Italians have thought of everything. And everything just feels really nice. And I know that sounds weird, but some motorhomes you get in, it's all a bit scratchy and a bit cheapy, but this really isn't. You've got your cutlery drawer, you've got absolute, you see, this is where you can put your red wine, look. One, two, three, red wine there, white wine there. Job done. It's got a huge fridge, 160 litres. And you've got cupboards galore in this. You've got storage everywhere. And it's only got 340 kilogram payload. And that's probably where it lets itself down. Personally, I don't wait it as long as you've got your Cat C1 licence, just so you can carry a little bit more in it. I've got another favourite bit of this motorhome. I'll show you now. My next favourite bit of this motorhome is the double entrance to the toilet. So you've got a door here, which is great. And then you've got a door here, which is great. And all of that means that whether you're front or back, you can enter in. 
No lika, no lighty. It's a big shower in this. I'm not the smallest of fellas. I'm not the biggest, but this is a hell of a shower size. Love the mirror because obviously you like to see yourself naked whilst you're showering. Who loves that? <laughs> not me, that's for certain. And let me take you into the bedroom. It's the little things that I like are in this motorhome. Yeah, you've got your big island bed and your big mirror because the Italians like mirrors. I'm allowed to say that. My mother's Italian and she's got a lot of them. Good lighting. I love the lighting in this actually. It's really light and airy and it makes you feel like you want to stay in here. And it's little things like this little table here. You pull that up and you've got a little table. Look at that! You can put your espresso on that. All your wine from your second sink. Yeah, it's all right this, isn't it? And if you look down here, you've also got a bit more storage here, a bit more storage here, and a bit more storage there. And then you've got storage at the side. You've got storage galore. Have I mentioned it's got a lot of storage? Out of all the motorhomes that I've seen, at the price tag that this is at, this will retail somewhere in the 70s, probably in the higher end. This is one of my favorites at that price tag. You can't even get an entry level auto sleeper at this sort of price, brand shiny new. Love the finish on the table. Again, it's soft, it's nice, it's lovely. You just want to touch it and stroke it. I love the fact that it's got the leather and the suede and the cloth. It's got Italian style, it's got Italian grace. Rita Haywood gave it good face. I don't know if she did or not, but I do like this motor. I mean, you don't have to go faffing around with moving the table around for your extra two berths, because obviously you've got the island bed at the back. You just gotta pull it down from above your head. Do you like this motorhome? Boo! Boo! Oh, but look, look, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I love this. And this is your pull down double bed. <laughs> I mean, I say double. That was the bed creaking and not my bottom. I say double, it's absolutely massive. Obviously you'll have to fold down these seats to get it all down properly. But the seats are comfort. The entire motorhome has just got a little bit more va va -voom than an awful lot of other motorhomes out there. Bear in mind you're comparing this to the German builds, your Adrias, your Cathargos and all of these. This, this is up there. Well done Italy. The cab is lovely. Absolutely lovely. You've got cab blinds all round. I suppose the only real downside is you don't have a door this side. You've only got a habitation door and a door on the passenger side, but hey, that's the Italian side of things. I love little things like the cut throughs on this that just makes the lighting pop. I love little things like the fact that you've got three little espresso holders here. Only the Italians will think of that. It is on the six speed Comfortmatic. If I was being super critical, super picky, I would have bought this a few years later and had the nine speed, but hey, this is a 2017. 2017. This is stunning, ahead of its time. I wanted to give you my three good and three bad. My three good, this little door. Doesn't that look lovely? Second one. The front and rear. And the third one is just the general styling, lighting, style, grace. It's beautiful. My three negatives, it has been hard to pick these. For me, the biggest negative is the payload. I think with a van of this size, grandeur, luxury, you're probably gonna be filling it with a lot of stuff. Another one is, and I'm not sure they were around in 2017, I would have liked my fridge to have swung both ways like they do nowadays. Um, because if you're coming in here and you want to, and you just sort of, it all gets a little bit messy. 
My third one, even though I said it was a wine cooler, I'm not overly certain why we've got two sinks. There is a little jewel in the crown of this Leica Dolce Vita EcoVip 712. If you're in the Tuscan hills, it tends to be hilly, which means that you're not always going to be straight when you're parking up on a vineyard, a winery, or even a campsite if you want to stay there. This one has got the hydraulic self-leveling. I wanted to show you how to work the self-leveling jacks on this particular Leica. Now, the self-leveling jacks will be pretty much the same on all of them. It does get a bit noisy though. That's why I wanted to start the conversation now because you need to start the engine. And when you start the engine and you're not sat down and the doors open and the steps out, a lot of beeps happen. But let me show you what we need to do. So we start the engine. There's a lot of beeps. And then you wait for this control panel here to come on. It takes a while and the beeps get a bit annoying. We can speed this bit up. There we go. Control panel is on. Once that gets to this stage, it will say we can unlock it. And you unlock it by pressing and holding for three seconds. There we go. Accept that. And if my camera lady goes outside, because you hit the leveling, you hit store, and you'll see the lights go. I love this Leica Dolce Vita EcoVip 712. I think it looks beautiful. Remember the baby shark? It's just got presence, it's got style. It also cocks its leg. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment. She's lovely. Shane, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it.